All right, so here's my purple hooter, courtesy of Scott Coons. If he's still making these, you should get one. I don't use it on everything, but today, uh, there's a problem. So off to another shop. Yes, hole is too big for spark plug. Excellent diagnostic. Um, I don't know what their options were. So anyway, I'm gonna time lapse this and show you how much crap has to come off an MS 460, excuse me, 441. And you'll see why this right here is fantastic. Okay, I've just gently threaded this in, and to say that the spark plug was had wallered this hole out is an understatement. Um, you could just drop the spark plug in and slide it right back out. So when you're doing a helicoil repair, you have got to get your angle and your left to right and everything else straightened out. There's a little bit more to it than that. Um, so what this tap from this kit, this is a save a thread kit. Um, you get this dual sized, so that's supposed to fit, so you can chase regular spark plug threads with this, but that's your starter, then it tapers up and cuts, and then cuts threads for this insert. And if you notice up here on the top, those last couple of threads have little grippy feet on them. All right, they make these in three different thicknesses. They just call it small, medium, and long, or short, medium, and long. Use the shorts and the chainsaw cylinder heads. The mediums are too long. Um, so there is your install tool. So once you get it seated, a couple of swift taps with the hammer, and it will spread the top of this and put those grippy feet and plant them into the threads. So you'll get that. I, I don't recommend using any Loctite on these. Most Loctites, you know, are rated up to 450, 500 degrees or something like that. I'm pretty sure your combustion chamber in this material right here is probably pushing close to that. It may be not worth it. Um, I've done dozens of these and I've only had two failures. And the reason why they failed is because I didn't install it properly. It's a good kit. Um, I think the tap, punch, and a few inserts was like, I don't know, like 40 bucks, probably 50 now, how everything's gone up. So one of the other things to be careful is, is as you're threading this in, it's just got a three eighths drive on the end. You notice right now, there's plenty of wiggle. So as you install this, you have got to stay true. This is like, you know, a hammer looks at everything like a nail. This thing doesn't care. If you start driving this thing off at an angle, it will start cutting at that angle. So as you rotate through this, you have to, I like to use an extension on my ratchet so I can guide that. So if you're just constantly pulling down in one direction, you're going to pull this tap over. Um, I would have loved to be able to set this up in the vise where that was perfectly straight up in the air. And there's just by the, by the shape of, you know, where the lower transfers are, there's just no good place to grip this thing and keep it nice and steady. So we'll live with this right here. What I'm probably going to do is get this straightened <clears throat> and in, and then uh, I'll bring you back and show you the install. All right, so I drove that in there. I believe I might be off just a touch this way but angle stayed true and for any of you guys out there thinking oh i'll just do this on the saw that's too much effort i held this underneath the vise while i was driving that attack driving the tap in i'll just put a little dab of grease that'll catch all my shavings don't do it don't do it. 
because that's not small pieces. You know, these are, I mean, that's, I know it's just aluminum, but it's just your thousand dollar chainsaw. So keep that in mind. And uh, I'm gonna back this out, get it all tidied up, and uh, we'll do the uh, install of the helical or the threads. Now that's a save a thread. All right, once you've threaded it in there, make sure you're nice and flush with the surface. You don't want that too far below or too far above, just flush. You know, this used to be a perfectly machined surface right there. So you're trying to recreate that. You can't have anything impeding the way of the spark plug for making a, a good seal with its crush washer, okay? So we're just gonna put you right here. And so we can't throw a couple of swift links at this. Make sure that's good and tight. Good and tight. Okay. And like I said, I don't know if we can do a close up on this, but there's a, see that lift ridge right there? That's what's going to drive those little grippy teeth. Get that. You'll feel if you're in there. Nice and square. And that should be her. You don't have to beat the brakes off of this. The tool's gonna do most of the work for you. So with that being said, there's a successful helicoil install. And now it's time to put all those back where they belong. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, when I, I did use a little bit of 620 thread locker. I don't know if it's going to help, but I think up here around the edges, maybe. Um, even after I drove the tap in there, and it's usually not that way, but I think this has wallowed out so far that I barely had enough thread with the oversize. Um, I don't know how it got that bad that you could actually just lift the spark plug out and put the spark plug back in. So... Uh, we'll say a small prayer over this, and um, I'll catch you on the next one.